showtime. Press um, one if y'all can hear me. I'm turning off the mic on my, um, I got to share screen, presets, share screen. Wow. Okay, so y'all can hear me now. I can't hear myself, but as long as y'all can hear me, let's roll. Okay, real quickly, this is um, this is a Tinder swipe for Cali, and I'm using Cali as an example because um, because uh, I want to um, okay, okay, okay. Sorry, I was trying to use my DJI for a better visual, but it seems like you know it's just I don't know. I was having a delay in the audio. So I don't know. Okay, so the stream is about how to stay safe and how to use Tinder to your advantage, particularly in Colombia, but everywhere. Yeah, it's been a while since I did a live using live, uh, uh, StreamYard, and I've never tried to use my um, DJI camera on the StreamYard. Obi-Land, what up, Obi-Land? We know all the scope queens in Cali. Yeah, cool. Uh, Y'all check out Obi Land. You know what I'm saying? He got videos catching girls and all kind of crazy stuff. But um, I want to tell you, show you how I use Tinder and how you could use Tinder. First of all, I use move my age from 25 to 35. So that knocks out, even though you might still get some uh, young girls in there. As you see, this woman here is 34 years old. And you see, she says, it says, friend. It says friend. She's looking for new friends. That's not the safest, but that's safer than the ones who say uh, mutual beneficial and the ones who say short time or short time fun. Those are the, the girls you don't match with. You know, if you want to be safe, don't match with the ones who say short time fun and don't match the ones who says um, mutual beneficial because they those are all working girls, all of them. No, 25 to 35. <laughs> Earn money. <laughs> okay, so I just want to keep going through it so y'all get an idea. Like, and I'm in Medellin, so... Okay, she's nice, but I'm trying to find, I think that's a guy, Isabella. I'm trying to find, still figuring it out. That's, that's okay to, um, to, uh, to, um, yeah, you could, you could, you could lock, but mostly I would say, I'm, nah, it's okay, work with that. Okay. Covering the face is a bad sign. You know, even though some of them, you can see some of her face, it's a bad sign. You don't click on those girls who's covering their face. New friends is okay. New friends, but I'm trying to find the ones that I really want y'all to see so y'all can have an example. So, you know, we got some, we got some older mamas up in here. <laughs> They ain't gonna make it for the kids. <laughs> um, this is my god, 35, 31. Let me see. She wants to go to the university. Yeah, she a little, she a little big for the kid. Um, new friends. Oh, you know what it is too. I have to. I have to switch it to. Um, New friends, too little too old. Now that I want to show y'all the ones who say in short time, I can't see that. Let me see if I could. Um, I did something to change it from Tinder Gold. Uh, hold on, let me see. Uh, so a popular passport bro is saying that Latinas aren't attracted black men. Some of them are, some of them aren't. You know what I'm saying? It's it's all good. 
I would agree that some of them are and some of them are not. It's just like that all over the world. So, you know, it ain't nothing new. We all know that. Uh, who's this? Still figuring it out. Aurora. I'll click on her just for sport. Um, 35 is good. Older mama's comment. Woo. <laughs> I'm trying to find a, I guess I'm in Cali, so it's not as bad as in Medellin. But if, if you're in Medellin, you're going to see a lot of mutual beneficial and a lot of short term, short term, you know. So maybe, OK, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to try and move it down to 21. Maybe if I move it down to 21, you're going to see the short term. Cali ain't hitting right now. I'll tell you this much, you know. They ain't hitting. They ain't, I don't know what they're hitting for, but I ain't feeling. <laughs> I ain't feeling Cali right now. I thought I matched with a couple of cool ones, but uh, Cali ain't hitting right now. But basically, what I wanted to say is, um, new friends. Damn, what, I'm not finding that the ones that say in short term. If, okay, see this one. See this one here? She says, if you're only looking for sex, please do not give match. These are the type of girls you want to click on. Girls who say things like this. And all the brothers who be getting scoped claim that they are not. See this one? You can't see her face. You don't click on her. They claim that they're not looking for working girls. But, you know, everybody claims that who gets drugged. Oh, I wasn't looking for working girls. They was regular girls. Okay. Well, if you're not looking for, for working girls, then there's certain signs that you should be looking for in their comments, right? Young know, XC, Cali ain't hitting real. It is, but I did the, the I might have swiped too much already. I might have swiped too much already. Um, Maria, 37. Let me move the age down. Let me move. Let me see if I can move the age down. Uh, where I got to go over here? Let me move the age down. Minimum photos. Okay, let's move the age down to 21. Maybe you might get some mutual, mutual. Okay, I think that'll do it. Let's try it now. Let's see. Cap ain't hitting that hard, man. Lava out a lot of time they say they trap dudes. Um how y'all like uh, Maria? Maria's looking good, huh? What's she talking about? Still figuring it out. Okay, I ain't with that. I guess they got they see all right. So it's all about what they have to say here. So I can't find the example I want to show y'all because they usually it'll say mutual benefit or it will say short term. I think I got to change my settings and that's why I'm not getting I'm not getting it because I think I'm on I'm on tender gold and I got to put it to uh, the regular the regular. I think I'm on gold and I got to put it on the regular. Uh, yeah, I'm on 5.0. Let me see if I can change this here. I forgot how I changed it last time to make them regular. But if you, if you on gold, they're going to show you what you're looking for, which is friends. Let me see. Damn. I'm going to have to change it to a Medellin to see if I can get what y'all looking for. They say short time. Yeah. If they say short, short term. Those is all working girls, and you don't want to click on them because those are the dangerous ones sometimes. Not all the time, but sometimes. And a lot of the older chicks is not going to say short term because they out the game by that time. So that's one thing y'all can do is not click on the short time shorties. Short time shorties is a problem. Okay, so... Let me see. I can't see y'all comments and 
Let me move this over and see if I can get it, get it to the way I want it. Streets calling. <laughs> see this one here? No face. You know, she's covering her face, right? That's the ones you don't click on. If they cover in their face, you don't click on them. Let me see. Oh, this is how I change it. See how it? Okay, I changed it. Now you'll see it at the end. It was on Tinder Gold. And they'll see what they want at the end, at the last picture. So, no. Some of these girls look scary, right? Nope. And the other thing, too, okay, still figuring it out. Those are so-so. Okay, let me get to the And Santo Domingo, Tinder, they're working girls a little more safe in Colombia. Damn, people give a safety course just to go to this country. No, I'm giving it because people ask me to give it. You know what I'm saying? People ask me to give it, so I'm going to give it. So this is what I, I want to get to the to the, to the, uh, the, the meat, the meat and potatoes of the conversation. Okay, number one, if you want to stay safe and safest, the safe your safest bet, stay your ass home. <laughs> That's your safest bet. Stay home, all right? Your next safest bet is if you go to the country and you want that type of action, just go to the to the casas. It's, especially in, in Medellin, they have like they got like 20 casas in Medellin that you could go to and the price is like 150 mil in the casas. Whereas the girls in the clubs be asking for five, 400, 500, 600. And the girls in the casas look just as good and it's safe. They work there, you go in the room, you do your thing. That's the safest bet and when you come into uh, Medellin, Cartagena don't have as many Casas is Medellin. Medellin got a lot of Casas. Okay. Now, after the Casas, and if you want a consultation, I can give you a whole list of the Casas. After the Casas is the clubs where they work. They work in the clubs. They work at the clubs. They're probably, probably going to be safe at the clubs. Where you get dangerous is the streets, the girls on the street which who probably don't have the proper ID and all that to get in the club. Or well, there's a reason why the club doesn't want them to work for them. And there's Tinder. Now, if you insist on having somebody, a guest in your house, um, stay at an Airbnb that has security, that takes a picture of their ID, that takes a picture of their face, and that you have to walk them down, back downstairs so they can't get out. So if you were to get drugged, they wouldn't be able to get out. And they would see this from a mile away when they check, when you're checking in with them, because they would see them taking their ID. They would see them taking a picture of their face. Some places keep their ID. Uh, some places will call you if you don't walk them down. And if you don't pick up the phone, they won't let them go. And some places you have to come down with them. So... There's play, those are another other ways that you can stay safe. Um, and the other way that people, people always keep saying that this, they be drinking around girls. And now they use like a little eye drop thing. You know, I bought this just so to give you, give you an example. So you could be turned around, they'll hit you, hit, hit your drink like this, boop, and you scoped. You finish, you finish, you out for the night. So one of the things they use is like an eyedropper and you done. And even though I've heard that girls put it on their breasts and I've heard that they might have in other parts of their body, from everybody I know who's admitted to being drugged, it was always a drink in the room. And like the young guy said, we were drinking water. I was like, it doesn't matter. You was drinking something. And it was able to put something in your drink. 
and this could make it real easy for them, right? So do not drink anything when you're in a house with girls you don't know. And the reason why I'm making this video, right, is because there are a lot of videos. A shout out to DC Born Rob. I don't I don't knock what he does, but he does a whole lot of reporting on the people who get drugged and the people who, you know, pass on. But it's not stopping guys from coming here. So with all the reporting of what's happening, it's not solution based. It's like Nancy Reagan, just say no to drugs. You understand? And the airports is still a two hour wait in the airport. People are tourists are still coming here. So they're not come. And guess what? They're coming because everybody thinks it's not going to happen to me. So. I'm just making this video to help you guys because you're going to come anyway. All this, all the videos about how many people got drugged and those people who have passed on is not stopping guys from, but maybe it's stopping the little guys, but the streets are still full. The bars are still full. The airports are still full with visitors coming to Columbia. So people, they haven't stopped coming to Columbia. So I'm just trying to provide some solutions because y'all gonna come anyway and y'all gonna see girls anyway so i'm just trying to provide solutions if you're still going to come and you still want girls go to one of the casas to see a girl that's probably your safest bet they work there you go to a room and that's that the other good thing about the casas is that the prices are a third of what the girls charge you who are in the clubs or are in the street a third so that's another good thing for going there you go you do your business you go home nobody has to come to your airbnb nobody has to know where you live where you stay and you're safer that way after that is the girls who work in the club you know and if you do want if you do do Tinder, like I said, the girls who say mutual benefit, don't click, don't don't match with them. The, the girls who say that, don't match with them. They're working girls. And, they, and most of y'all say, oh, I wasn't even trying to have a working girl. So then don't match with them. The ones who say short term, don't match with them. Match with the ones who say they're looking for a long term, match for the work for the ones who say, if you're looking for a prostitute, don't click on me. Those are the girls you click on and move the age bracket up a little bit because the younger girls are usually the ones working. Now, some of the older girls lie about their age because they know guys probably gonna want younger girls, but there's always telltale signs that you, that you know, one time uh, uh, somebody said, oh, come meet me. Let's have a drink. And I'm like, I don't drink. And I was like, well, come, you know, so I just blocked that person because it just seemed a little shady. But the main thing is, and the other thing is, the young brother said they took their, their wallets, they took their phones, and they took their credit cards. And I said, did your place have a safe? They said, yes. I said, well, why didn't y'all put your stuff in the safe? And they was like, so when you book an Airbnb, they got a whole list of thing amenities that the Airbnb has. You could make sure you have an Airbnb with a, with a safe and use the safe, okay? The other thing is if you don't have a safe, get a TSA lock to put on your luggage and put all your valuables in your suitcase and lock your suitcase. You know, or just separate things, put some stuff under the mattress, you know, places that they may not look. Now, people have also said of what KBS travel, some of the girls still say long term and tell you that's not. Yeah, but I'm just saying if they say in short term, if they say in mutual benefit, beneficial, then you already know those are the working girls. You understand? Like, of course, it's not 100 percent proof, but. If they say that, then you already know what the deal is. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that they can't lie, but you already know what the deal is. So if you click on them, you know, you know, you you dealing with um, girls that could that are in that lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? So 
and other things guys have said, oh, they, it makes you not remember what happened. And you go, I have yet to hear somebody say they went and put the combination to their safe and took the stuff out they safe and gave it to the people. Even though they say, oh, people could tell you what to do. I still, out of everybody who I, I know who got drugged, nobody said, I had my stuff in the safe. I don't remember opening it, but when I woke up, the safe was open and they had my stuff. So even though that's been a rumor, I personally haven't heard anyone say that. They had their stuff in the safe and they got drugged and went and opened the safe and gave the stuff in the safe to, to these women. So put your stuff in the safe if you got a safe. Yes, and the main thing is, I don't know why. And the other thing is, if you out here doing 2C, if you out here doing coke, maybe even weed, and if you out here drinking hard liquor, Hennessy, I mean, you're not, you're, 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 what they call that? Impaired. You're partially impaired. So you make bad decisions. You're a little more lax. You're a little more loose when you, when you're impaired, you know, your, your spidey senses ain't tingling all the way when you got drugs in you. You understand what I'm saying? So, I'm just trying to provide some information that could possibly help you guys not to get drugged. I've been coming out here since 2018. Since the first time I ever came to Colombia, I was in Cartagena, and a brother who lived here from America told me about scopolamine. And he scared me, you know, the way he said it, you know. And I've never, if nothing has ever happened to me, but. He told me about it, and for like the first couple of years, I didn't really hear no cases of it. But then it seems like in the last two years, it's gotten out of hand. So I'm not telling people to come here. I'm not promoting um, what you do when you are here. I'm just saying, I'm just trying to help because people ask me, how are you able to stay safe? Um, what are your suggestions when it comes to that being drugged? stay in an Airbnb that has good security, meaning that there's someone downstairs, there's someone who takes their ID or takes a picture of them or takes a picture of their ID, and it's a place where you have to bring your guests back downstairs in order for them to depart from the Airbnb. Those are real critical things if you're gonna have guests. Like I said, it's better to just go to a casa or, or one of those lounges or something and do it there if you want to stay safe. You don't have to get drugged here, you know, and it's happening, but people are being laxed and I think that's the reason why it's happening. Every Even veterans, they was like, yeah, I just got a little loose. You know, I've been coming here for a long time and I wasn't on my A game. But if you make a rule to never drink, then you don't have to worry about that. Uh, the festival, I believe, is in August, so I'm not going to be here that long. You know what I mean? But that's what I want to talk about. I hope that was good information. Real quickly, if y'all got any questions or y'all want to share something, the floor is open real quick. Season swag, what it do? No tell them empty your purse and take a shower. No water, no drinks. No bottle of water, say. Yeah, no bottle of water, no nothing. No type of drinks at all. Uh, yeah, going, uh, you're going to Cali. Um, let me go back and see if I missed any. Um, sorry, I, I knocked myself out the studio for a minute. Why don't you create a security e box in your device travel? A security e box. Create a security e book. Oh, e book with your advice. Maybe I will, but I figured most people want to hear it and he see a video and, and hear the audio, and it'll be it's easier to get get through. But in consultations, I can add other things. So. I just wanted to share that, even though I wasn't able to give you an example I wanted to, show that the ones who said mutual beneficial. Nightlife in other countries. Yeah, I've always made nightlife in every country I go to. 
I've always made nightlife videos. But I got two videos coming up. One video is a normal, real club here in Medellin in Laurelis and show you what a nightlife looks like. Not, not, not that other type of nightlife, a regular night, nightlife with Colombian people. Then I have another video on some upscale bars, rooftops, nightlife. Regular people, not that uh, other scene. So stay tuned for the next two videos. And thanks for hanging out with me for a little while. I had to push this later and later because uh, shout out to Razor Rays. He got 11,000 uh, subscribers now, but his lives go on forever and ever. And he had a lot of people over there <laughs> with the drama. <laughs> so I wanted to wait till his thing like died down. It's amazing how much drama people enjoy, but it is what it is. It's your boss, International Zoe. I hope that was helpful. Love is love, life is life. Royalty is priceless. Late night thirst, we are getting late night security from International Zoe. That's what's up. Yeah, 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 yeah. People have been asking me to make a video and expressing some of these things. And that will be my advice because people are still coming here and they're still getting drugged. <laughs> They're not, they're not being scared away. They're still coming, you know what I'm saying? So, peace. Subscribe, snitches. Are you not entertained? Are you not entertained?